to bring on um, public information officer from Tyler, Texas, Tyler Police Department, a Andy Erbaugh. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, tell us, how is the city uh, and the police department preparing for some of these storms? You heard us talking about the severe weather. How are you all getting ready for these storms? Well, we get these, you know, as spring approaches, we get these uh, storms. And what we're, we try to do here at the police department and with all our emergency services here in Tyler is get prepared because I know they're coming to us but probably between 4 and 7 p.m. is going to be our worst time when, when we get these storms. And at the police department, we just want to have make sure we have all our officers are going to be out there and ready to respond to the calls. Uh, we do get a lot of flooding and low-lying streets where we have to help stranded motorists. And we try to get the word out via our social media uh, to kind of stop uh, that from happening and kind of let people know what, what the dangers there are for these storms. As you guys have seen the alerts, the warnings, um, the information issued, um, is there a intensity to the message that you're offering uh, to some of the folks in Tyler? I mean, it's like you said, you've had flooding before. This is an area where when you get too much water too quick, it's a problem. With the severity of these storms and the various impacts, has the message changed at all? Uh, yeah, it is, especially in these first and these early storms in spring. We really try to get the word out that um, because we haven't had a whole lot of rain up till now, uh, the streets, if they get three to five inches of rain in a very short amount of time, they become very slick. Uh, any, at least in, in the city of Tyler, we don't have a lot of rivers or streams, but even our uh, spillways that, that catch rainwater flood, and they, they'll come up and cover roads. So, yeah, it's, it's these first storms that are usually the worst, and that's when we try to get that word out that people need to just stay safe, stay in if they can, and, and turn around if they see water covering the road. Yeah, because oftentimes people forget they get in these flash floodings and it's personnel who has to go out there and, and save them and protect them, but they're putting their lives at risk while doing that as well. Uh, you talked about the flooding being maybe a concern and an issue, and a lot of this will happen, as you mentioned, as the sun's going down or just after that. Uh, what kind of message have you gotten out ahead of the storm to let people know, hey, now's the time to just stay home if you can, especially since this is happening when the sun's going down? Right. We at the police department, we have a very active social media presence, and that's what we try to get that word out on. And it does reach a lot of people. So that's what we want people to, to pay attention to. Uh, in, in addition to that, and like you said, uh, with uh, us being out and, and all first responders being out, a lot of times we work accidents in these uh, types of, of weather. So we always watch out for first responders in the roadway, police, fire, and EMS, because we're out there uh, working these accidents and, and we're harder to see with a lot of rain. So just take that time, slow down, and uh, watch our, our social media and obviously our local and national weather to get the best updates on these. You got it. Andy Erbaugh, thank you so much for your time. Be safe out there. We'll be thinking about you and uh, be careful out there this evening and tomorrow morning. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.